I wish to brief the House on the recent xenophobic attacks on foreigners and their businesses, mainly in the Houghton Pre province, Pretoria and Johannesburg, which has led to the looting and burning of several foreign-owned businesses. The incidents commenced on Saturday, 11th February, 2017, after 10 houses belonging to Nigerian nationals in the Rosentonville suburb of Johannesburg were burnt by local residents. The residents had alleged that the houses were being used as brothels by suspected Nigerian drug lords. Following that incident, the host minister for home affairs, Malusi Gibakba, visited the Johannesburg town of Rosenville, Yeoville, and Mayfair in an effort to calm tension in the localities, which all high concentration, which has a high concentration of immigrants. Over the weekend, Mr. Speaker, local residents in Pretoria West also burned down two houses being operated by foreigners, allegedly as drug dens, while some shops owned by Somali nationals were forcefully entered and their wares looted. The Home Affairs Minister's attempts at containing the spread of the attacks appear not to have been successful as the xenophobic attacks have spread to the administrative capital. On Monday the 20th and Tuesday 21st February, several shops belonging to foreign nationals in Pretoria West were looted and burned. In Pretoria, the looting started around 8 p.m. on Monday and escalated to all suburbs of Pretoria. In Mamelodi, a suburb in Pretoria, there is general fear and apprehension within the various foreign communities, including that of Ghana, following the decision by a local to organize an anti-foreigner march today to protest at what he referred to as South African nationals being tired of enslavement and being deprived of job opportunities in their own country. In reaction to the developments, the South Africa Bishops' Conference and the Justice and Peace Commission have called for calm and restraint, noting that the intended march was a cause for serious concern. The chairman of the Bishops' Conference has condemned the violence and destruction of property and has called on communities to explore avenues to raise their concerns against foreign nationals. In view of the foregoing, there is an increased level of apprehension within the Ghanaian community in Houghton, who bearing in mind the 2015 incidents are uncertain about the future. Our mission in Pretoria has instituted a number of measures as follows. One, the mission has visited many shops owned by Ghanaians in the sunny suburb of Pretoria, informing them of the developments and the need to activate all early warning signals using social media groups to provide information in advance of any attacks. Pretoria shop owners have been directed to close their shops immediately the threats are deemed as imminent. The Ghanaian community in Mamelodi, where the march against foreigners will take place today, has also been advised not to open their businesses on, uh, today and remain indoors whilst awaiting the all clear signal from community leaders and the mission. The mission has also written a note verbal to the Department of International Relations and Cooperation requesting their continued protection of Ghanaian nationals and all non-South African nationals as well as their businesses. The mission has, in addition to its official numbers, introduced a 24-hour mobile hotline that can also be accessed via the uh, social media and by telephone, including WhatsApp. The number is exclusively for any information relating 
to the xenophobic attacks, and so far we have had a few calls. A team from the High Commission traveling to the Eastern Cape in connection with passport services have been adequately briefed in relation to the mission's general advice to Ghanaian nationals. Mr. Speaker, our checks indicated that no Ghanaian nationals or their businesses has been affected in the recent attacks. Mr. Speaker, our embassy in Pretoria and the foreign ministry would continue to monitor the situation and update the country appropriately. I thank you for your attention.